Which Britain won the 1992 Olympics? <laughs> Matt Preston. It's Christmas. Christmas. Linford Christie Christ is one. correct, then you are so far in front of Chris there. Two one hundredth of a second. You're just like miles in front there. Yeah. <laughs> That's That's the four lengths in horse racing terms. That's, uh, Preston. That's closer than Christie's second place in the <laughs> 92 yeah. Olympics, that is. Oh, it's worked perfectly. Look at that, we're going. As of late 2015, how many humans have ever been capable of triple jumping the length, Chris, one. of a bowling alley? It's Jonathan Edwards. <laughs> That's from the fault line to the head pin. At the 2000 Sydney Olympics, which Britain became the Olympic record holder with an 89.95... Chris, Steve Backley throw oh, in the uh, javelin. Yes, but everyone's going, he didn't win though. Tell them Steve while I, uh, Chris, while I put the scores on. It was then beaten. The record was beaten. You got the record and then it was beaten by Celestine. Celestine. Yeah. Whose first major medal was a silver at the age of 19 in the next... <laughs> Sam. Jackson. He's right. A 1986 oh, Commonwealth Games, Colin Good Jackson. Well, so that, that, that is one of the answers of the tournament, I think, uh, because that was deep knowledge to start with. It was a very long question. Okay, it finished like three pages later with the World Championship in 1993. In which country did Sebastian Coe run 1.4173 for the 800 oh. metres? Italy, Rieti. Yeah. Who was Great Britain's only female track and field medalist at the 1990? Ashton. Gunnell. I'm afraid that's minus one. What did he say? Nice before Christmas. He said Sally Gunnell. Preston. Liz McCorgan. I'm afraid that's minus one as well. I'm going to, not, I'm going to dispense with the word afraid now. Rhodes. Denise Lewis. Denise Lewis is the correct answer. Oh, that's one's speaking. Yeah. Which former world record holder served as the chief executive of UK Athletics from 19... <laughs> David Moorcroft. David Moorcroft yeah, is a good two good. points. Yeah. Four points. Four points, yeah. <laughs> Four points. Allowing up to a ten point error. What was Daley Thompson's reassessed haul to set the British decathlon record that won gold at the Los Angeles Olympics? It's Christmas! Michael! 8472. Pardon? 8472. Nope. Uh, Chris, I presume you're next. 8860. Nope. Laycock? 8532. Mm. Nice before Christmas. No. Rhodes? 8950. Sam? 8490. Ashton? 8835. I'm looking for No. Lees? 8836. No, <laughs> Preston. Eight eight five five. Sounds oh, yeah, about yeah. right. Eight eight four seven. You were just so oh, close. You were twelve points okay. either side. You two guys. Good. With what event would one associate Fred Sally, John? <laughs> oh rats. <laughs> Go on. Long and triple jump. Yeah, long jump is efficient. Name the Welsh middle distance runner who did the eight hundred and fifteen hundred meter. Kirsty White. Oh, what a great oh, well, answer. Yeah, well, yeah. The double at the Commonwealth Games in 1986. That's some deep knowledge, is that, Chris? Uh, look at that amazing haul you've got. But not in that time. 24 points is a record haul on your own 10. Look at them, the gloating bastards. <laughs> <laughs> 15 to go. Which small fictional English town is inhabited by Bill Badger, Algie Pug, Martin? Nutwood. Nutword is correct. You all knew it was Nutwood the moment you said it, didn't you? Who composed the symphonic poems En Saga and Finlandia? Oh, Ashton. Baylis. Uh, yes, Baylis is correct. Well done. So, two points for Ashton. You didn't give Martin his two either. Didn't I? No. I'm such a meanie. I probably gave him to somebody else. That'll come out in the wash, no doubt. That person's Chris, keeping... Chris can always spare it. Keeping really quiet. <laughs> if nobody says anything, it's probably Sam who's probably had a bad one. He never mentioned it. <coughs> Next one is this. Good luck, everybody. What nickname 
was given to the World War II General, the United States General, Joseph Warren St Stilwell. It was gleaned from his caustic personality. <laughs> oh, you first like... Yeah, it was vinegar, oh, Joe. Yeah. Greek Independence Day, Crufts and the start of the British flat racing season all fall in which <laughs> Formerly featured on the 100 peseta banknote, who composed the music for the ballets, the, ballets, the three cornered hat? Clive? <laughs> which English surname derives from the selling of soap, wax, and candles. <laughs> Rose. Trembler. In which 1980 film did Clint Eastwood play a <laughs> Sam? I missed you. Minus one. Which 1980 or 80s? 8-0. At Rhodes. Lake Ock. Heartbreak Ridge. It's a rubbish film, but no, I'm sorry. Uh, did Clint Eastwood play a modern day cowboy? Nice oh. before Christmas. Clive. Wrong girl, Billy. It's correct. Oh, yes. There was one or two to go for there, I guess, but uh, great, great, great. Born in Belfast. and raised predominantly in Dublin, the son of Ireland's chief rabbi, who served as the sixth president of the United States. Haim Herzog. Haim, is that how you say it? I was going to say Chaim. Haim. Chaim. Chaim Herzog. Chaim. Uh, Martin, that's one for you. Let me. Good answer. Mazel tov. <laughs> <laughs> What is Akal Teke, A K H A L dash T E K E? What is an Akal Teke? It's the national emblem of Turkmenistan. Preston, it's, it's Christmas. A carpet, a rug. Chris, it's a flower. Laycock. <laughs> Lees. Gun. Vince. Fish. McPartland. A hat. Ashton. Bird. Rhodes. Horse. Say it again, Rhodes. Horse. <laughs> My oh, kingdom wow. for the horse. Well, one. That's <laughs> one. <laughs> They're absolutely gay for them in Turkmenistan. They're mad for them. Really, I don't know why. Anyway. What nationality are the boxers? Jorge Perez. Eric Morales. <laughs> Rhodes in front. Mexican. Correct. Rhodes, you are rolling on this bloody round. What's happened? Oh, great stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Applied to long haul air travel, what does the T? <laughs> Chris. Thrombosis. Yeah. I knew exactly what was yeah. coming as well. <laughs> Well, Chris, you've just played that perfectly, I think. What name was given to the precursor and the collapse in 1720? Chris, South Sea Bubble. South Sea Bubble is correct, and I'm sure a few of you are thinking, yeah, it sounds oh, yeah, about yeah. right. Chris is on a rich vein here. If Thomas Beresford was Tommy... <laughs> Sam. Tuppence is the correct no, answer. I'm sure if you wanted to. Uh, Tuppence, yeah. Uh, what was Elizabeth? Uh, yeah, I would have let you go on Mid both Paris. of those, you know what I mean? When it... I'm not sure what you're asking. Sam, good. Good. Sweden and Denmark are separate. <laughs> Can I allow that? Yes, nearly done it, yeah. Ashton. Yeah. I would have said the Horizon Bridge, but. Rhodes, what were we going to say? Category. Right, Rhodes gets the points. Last one. REM's The Wake Up Bomb. Do you remember Rock and Roll Radio by the Ramones? B.A. Robinson's 1980 hit, Cool in the Caftan. 
All the Young Dudes written by David Bowie and the Who's last mainstream single, You Better You Bet, all mention which early 1970s chart topping band. Ah, was anybody else pressing apart from Sam? No. Sam, what were you going to say? <laughs> Lee's. Oh, McPartland, yeah. Zeppelin? Not Led Zeppelin. Leeds. The Scaffold. <laughs> well, not chart topping, not oh, chart topping in the 70s. Chris. T-Rex. Yes. Oh, Who needs me when I got T-Rex? <laughs>